everyone today we are looking at the best mirrorless camera under 80 to 85,000 ish rupees or say thousand us dollars whether you are looking to do photography or videography or content creation vlogging you have it covered in this video so before i say on which camera you should be picking up let me give you some thoughts about the camera and its ecosystem you should be able to then decide properly or choose properly which brand which camera you should pick for plenty of healthy competition at this price range even though we have uh, plenty of mirrorless cameras to choose from but still there is a dslr market out there for ultra professionals because you need that fast burst speed if you want to go for the sports photography or events and you want that quick burst speed you definitely have that dslr stuff still there with great battery life and other good stuff out there but if you are looking for aps-c sized cameras or let's say under 1 lakh rupees or let's say under 70 to 85 thousand rupees i would not suggest you pick the full frame camera instead go with the aps-c sensor aps-c size cameras because there is uh, probably one or two cameras that you can get under 1 lakh full frame cameras and I'm not quite a fan of that because if you want to choose the full frame camera definitely spend over 1 lakh 20 thousand rupees and get proper full frame camera along with that really good lenses so lenses is what really matters when you want that different kinds of focal length for different kind of events that you are going to shoot with so full frame camera aside so before you choose on any uh, mirrorless cameras like specific brands you want to consider the ecosystem around it so you want to build that ecosystem once you buy the camera body so that's really important you want to go down the road uh, let's say five to ten years this camera should hold good no matter what event you are shooting right so that's the kind of thing that's the kind of mindset you want to build before deciding on any camera so what event you are shooting if you are shooting only landscapes so a lot of wide angle matters out there rather than telephoto or zoom lens so again which camera really gives that lenses of course you have adapters so that's the kind of ecosystem that you should be looking for if you are just going with the specific brand camera lenses then you don't need to worry too much about this stuff so the focal length matters what event you are shooting matters and what is the kind of video that you are creating also matters so my first pick here will be the canon's eos r10 so it's been quite a while since this camera has been launched but it's doing still great so uh, pretty much everything it's like a hybrid camera for you photography videography great video image quality and it also takes really sharp images so this is the Canon EOS R10. It comes with 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor. Here they have used the digit 10 processor. The image algorithm is quite improved than the previous uh, versions and it's doing really great. The very positive thing about this one is it shoots at 15 frames per second uh, with the mechanical shutter and you have the electronic shutter at 25 FPS. So it's quite fast. So whatever uh, you want to shoot with, you can quickly snap that picture without any blur there. So that's the positive aspect here. The major downside of this this is the native lenses the RFS mount lenses there are quite a few lenses only like uh, three to four lenses to choose from but then you want to invest on other lenses as well so if you are picking up this Canon EOS R10 I would uh, suggest you pick the body only that's uh, available for like 70 to 75 thousand rupees and then invest on lenses that you want to shoot with if you are doing street photography go for 24 millimeter if you want to shoot portraits you buy the 85 millimeter and choose along so I'll make a separate video if you want that what lenses go for uh, different kinds of stuff that you want to shoot or uh, capture video but that's about it so with the Canon here you get the 4k 60 frames per second with slight crop 1.56 x crop at 60 frames per second but until 30 frames per second uh, there is absolutely no crop so a uh, 4k 30 fps and it also shoots at different bit rates. so you have that option and uh, Canon doesn't disappoint you always so that's why they say Canon delights you always so that's how this camera is really good and you also uh, so get a fully video. articulating screen uh, which is really nice and uh, easy to use and you have that excellent tracking capability with this camera so you just can't go wrong picking this up and it also gives 450 images per battery charge so that's the canon eos r10 and it's a great camera out there if you're looking for hybrid thing okay so alternatively if you're looking for something really uh, like retro body classic looking style so definitely you should pick the nikon zfc it's doing really great now usually nikon wouldn't pick that great if you're doing videography but then again they have come so far and now that they are doing really great you can definitely opt for this uh, camera it comes with 20.9 megapixel aps sensor fully articulating touch screen so it's 3.2 inch actually better resolution than the previous uh, canon that i suggested the only drawback here is the 300 shots per charge so battery life isn't that great as far as the looks 
is concerned it's quite unique retro style is what you get like film cameras if you just look at it feels very unique you have that manual dials manual controls plenty of buttons out there although the build quality isn't that great but then you have that dials there for you to learn the photography and do all that good stuff the negative thing is you don't get that grip there for this nikon zfc as you can see it's very flat so that's quite a negative thing here and it's slightly more weight as compared to the uh, canon eos r10 so but other than that the video tracking ability 4k 30 fps uh, without any crop you get all this goodness with this nikon zfc so that's really great about this camera if you are looking for something unique definitely check out this nikon zfc it's also priced at around 74 to 78 000 rupees definitely worth checking out if you're not fancying this retro style body definitely there is like proper mirrorless camera from nikon itself it's the z50 very similar specifications as with the nikon zfc so it's very similar don't get the fully articulating touch screen you rather get the uh, tilt down screen 180 degree but still you can actually view and vlog it but then that uh, obstructs the view when you're using it as uh, with the tripod so that's the drawback there with the nikon z50 but other than that superb image quality and you also get great video quality out of this nikon z50 so you can check that out as well couple of alternatives to the canon eos r10 now looking at the major second camera that i want to suggest is the sony's alpha 6400 so 6400 it's really great camera at this price point so it's also sitting at around 74,000 rupees and you're getting 16 to 50 3.5 to 5.6 aperture kit lens which is really good as compared to the canon's one here and with this 6400 they have changed the color signs better skin tones it also comes with 24.2 megapixel bion z x processor in terms of image quality it's really great and you also get the three inch fully articulating screen just like the canon eos r10 in terms of video it shoots 4k 30 frames per second albeit slight crop is there for the 30 frames per second as with the canon you don't get any crop with the 30 frames per second but this one although 4k 30 fps at 1.2x crop you get some really good results video quality so that's why i'm suggesting this alpha 6400 and with the autofocus performance is exceptional i would say as compared to the canon eos r10 so that's the goodness you get with the alpha 6400 the only drawback here i would say is the lenses are quite expensive as compared to the canon's eos r10 the other major drawback here is the battery life but then again if you have a spare battery definitely you can charge one and use the other one so that shouldn't be an uh, issue the another issue is with the rolling shutter you get with the video there is quite a noticeable rolling shutter especially with the sony alpha 6000 series and it's been corrected with the 6700 which is the latest version but other than that the alternate best for the canon eos r10 would be this sony alpha 6400 so you just can't go wrong picking this one up so if you're fancying something alternative to these brands there is definitely the fujifilm xt32 so i would definitely recommend you check that out if you are just doing photography and videography without much editing so it definitely you can watch on the fujifilm xt32 because it gives great color simulation results so straight out of the box jpegs are really good and even the video quality is also good you can also also shoot 4.2.2 10-bit on this Fujifilm X-T32 and you also get this extra sensor actually here the updated sensor from Fujifilm which is really great for sharper images especially in terms of low light because it gets backside illuminated sensor so that's the goodness you get with the Fujifilm the only negative here is the screen you don't get the fully articulating screen instead you get the tilting screen the Fujifilm X-T30 would be your last resort but if you just want to go there and click some really great images definitely you can check the Fujifilm my personal choice here would be the Canon EOS R10 for just for making you very easier in terms of photography and doing videos as well. For any kinds of uh, photography or videography, definitely check out the lenses, native lenses available. And suppose you decided to buy the 35 millimeter lens, how much does it cost? Does it fall under your budget? So that's really important as well while buying these cameras because you want to go that long down the road. So yeah, any cameras, the most important thing is how you handle it, how you uh, view it and what's your perspective on clicking pictures and uh, shooting videos so that's what really matters and uh, i hope you get the best results there so that's it in this video i hope this video was really helpful to you in deciding which one you should pick for so my personal recommendation i have said which one would you opt for let me know in the comment section down below hopefully this was helpful to you if yes hit that like button let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and uh, don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to my channel so i will see you in the next one until then take care everyone bye bye Oh, 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 oh,